I was super excited when DeWalt launched their new 12 volt extreme subcompact five in one drill driver kit. And now that I have it in my hands, I'm even more excited. This thing is tiny, very comfortable. Seems like it's got some good power. We're gonna go through that, do some tests with some of the different attachments. Everything here seems like it's gonna be great, but let's go through it top to bottom. Stay tuned. Currently this tool is sold in a kit, it's model number DCD703F1, comes with a two amp hour battery, all the attachments you see in front of me, this bag, and inside this bag is a tray. Hopefully that shows up well, it's a lot of black inside there, and that tray will hold all the different heads, it'll hold the drill driver and give you a little bit of space for maybe a couple screws or anything else, but there's a lot of space if you wanted to stack things on top of it that's not completely efficient. Let's take a look at what you get here first. This is the basic drill. This attachment will take anything quarter inch, hex, you can just throw it in there. It's not a quick connect, it's basically a friction fit. So if you were in a tight space, didn't wanna put a head on this, you could use it as is. There's two speeds. Speed level two is zero to 1500 RPMs. It's got that DeWalt trigger that's very controllable and speed one is zero to 425 RPMs. Very nice. You have a drill mode and then you have 15 different clutch modes and I'll show you the clutch modes here. I'll throw this guy on. That was pretty simple to put anything on this, but we'll go over that. If we go to a small clutch mode, you can hear it. it's a manual clutch. So it's not an electronic clutch is where I was going. A lot of you guys really like the electronic clutches. A lot of you guys hate them. This is manual. So I think most people will probably dig it. To put something on, you have a collar that you pull back, line things up, it goes in. There are 16 positions. Easier to show you with this tool here. And you can move this around as long as it doesn't pop off. It's one thing that I found with this tool and with all of them, when you get this in, in one of the quick connection spots, if you, this end spins along with the internal side, it won't want to connect. But you pull that out, slide this out a little bit, you can see the teeth there. You can put it in any one of those spots that you want. So you can move this around a ton of different positions. And on this tool, which is a right angle tool, you too can put something in this that is going to be friction fit or any one of the other attachments can go on this end. And you can have your drill, you can have your quick disconnect quarter inch collet, or you can have an offset collet. So you can put a lot of different things on here, put them all together. There's a ton of things you can do with this, which I think is great. It's an installer's tool. If you install things, or if you work in cabinetry or anything like that, and need to get in that tight place, this thing is awesome. Forward and reverse, right there. But realistically, what I love about this tool, it feels just like the DeWalt 12 volt extreme impact wrench or small drill. You have a nice LED light that's coming up front, but you don't have anything up front stopping you from getting into tighter places. It's just a small tool. You could use it in multiple different ways, however you'd like to, and it works out well. It's comfortable, very, very comfortable. And to me, when I'm comfortable and I know I can get a tool in the right place, I usually can do a better job. There is a very slight amount of chuck wobble to this tool, but what you'll notice is that I can actually move the chuck slightly just inside the quick connect head. So the realistically, when you look at how much chuck wobble there actually is through the chuck, it's much less. So let's give it a try. I think what you're seeing there is the chuck actually moving as it turns on the head, not actual wobbling. So the faster it goes, the more this head is moving on the outside up and down. So this, this little bit of wobble is probably the biggest downside for someone who is really trying to get into a tight spot. But once you fix this in it's, and get on the right spot, 
that little bit of wobble doesn't seem to hurt much because it keeps everything in the same place and doesn't move the bit. So that's good news. Just from picking this up, playing with the trigger a little bit, feeling how fine and precise this variable speed trigger is, I know that I have the precision to do fine woodworking or fine insulation tasks with it at my desired speed. And I think that's awesome. This tool is just so comfortable, it makes me feel like I can get into anywhere with it and do anything I want. But how powerful is it? So I put the quick connect head on here. This is just the narrow one. And to put something in, just push and we're into place. There's a little bit of play at the end, not a big deal. Pull the collet out and I can remove it. So let's start out with a 3 8 inch bit, do some drilling on level two, see where we get. So it stalled out. And that does not surprise me. It feels like quite a bit. There is a knot in the end of this wood here. Probably not the perfect place to do this. I think you can see by my wrist here how much torque is actually being applied. Let's move down to low and move up to a half inch. This is such a small drill, it takes a lot to hang on to that going through this treated lumber. And I think if we pull out some two by material that's not treated, it would be a different story. Let's just try five eighths here. Obviously it will do it. I'm just having trouble holding everything. Let's go up to 11 sixteenths. And for something this small without an auxiliary handle, I think that's pretty much the most stress that you'd like to put on your wrist. And 11 16 inch bore through this wood is pretty significant for this size tool. I don't see too many people pulling this out to try to drill this type of hole. This is going to be more of a countersink tool or something that is super easy to just come in and work with in a little more of a fine environment. Even there a little bit quick for that, but at the same point, that's where this is at, but it does have the power to easily go through something much larger. One of the tools that comes out most for me in this style of tool is this offset head. Now I put the 90 on it just so you could see what's going on a little bit better and that I could. If we take this offset head and get down right into the corner here, you should be able to see that we could drill that hole dang near down, I mean, as close to the edge as you could possibly get. Now we don't have to use that 90 degree tool to do so, but sometimes it gives us a little bit better view than if we just had this thing sitting on the front of our drill. Well, we can still get into those tight places. Sometimes seeing what's happening in there is a little bit harder. but you have the option. You can see both of them drilled just about in the same place there. Pretty cool. Play around a little bit here with some of our clutch settings, with some smaller screws. That was level four, we'll go up to level five. Six. Seven. 
That is about perfect. Let's try some repeatability, although the wood is going to be different. Perfect. Let's jump up to eight just to see what happens. And eight allows us to kind of keep digging. I'm a big fan of electric clutches. I don't mind the mechanical ones uh, because I can kind of play the game here of where it's at with six. And if I tap a little bit, usually I'll just get that little bit extra, which will get me to the right spot. So I really like the precision that I can come up with with this mechanical. And it's nice and smooth, and realistically, it's not too loud. That's one of the things that I like about electric clutches that are quiet. If you're a fan of the DeWalt 12-volt grip, you're going to absolutely love this tool. It's the same as all the other 12-volt extreme tools that are out there in their subcompact models. It gives you a great feel, and realistically, this tool is meant to be used in places that a camera is not going to go. So my demonstrations here were just basically of what can I show you on camera as far as what this tool can do. It's got a ton of power if you needed it to do something like that, but realistically, most installers are going to use much smaller drill bits and really not push this drill that hard. It's going to be more fine stuff, and I think that that is perfect for a tool this size, this small, and this light. It is awesome. I love it. There's a few things with the drill as far as the connection in the head, as I showed you with the chuck wobble, that really isn't that bad because, like I said, once you get it connected and in the right spot, that little bit of wobble that you get there doesn't come into play. It doesn't have you falling off a screw or anything like that. Even when I've tested this inside cabinets in the dark in different places, it works great. Something that I would recommend. Again, I am a huge fan of this grip. So when I put it in my hand, it's just like I'm working on one of the cars, one of the side-by-sides or one of the motorcycles. I feel like I got that 12 volt impact wrench in my hand and I feel at home. I absolutely love that about this and especially the weight. I mean, when you get to a tool that is this light, it is absolutely a joy to use and the power's there. Run time's there with these small batteries. And I enjoy it, as you can tell. I appreciate your time, guys. Give me a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.